Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an app called Appi? App, app fee? Quite honestly, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. All I know is someone from the company contacted me about this app around Easter and it is now summer and I'm just now getting around to making this video. So apologies for that. Life has been busy since then for a, pl a plethora of reasons. But anyway, uh, but what it does is it allows you to schedule posts for Instagram and this is the best one I've seen made. Uh, I've tried out later, Graham. I was not a fan of that because you have to do it yourself. It just gives you a reminder saying, hey, time to post this picture that you wanted to post. And I don't like that. But what this does is it automatically posts for you and has a couple different features. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you'll need to install the app on your phone. Then you will log in with Instagram. I've already been using this app and I have one photo scheduled to post today. Uh, but by the time you're seeing this, it'll be like a few days ago or yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to schedule a post after I export the photo I need. Now that I've exported my photo, I'm going to select schedule post. So now that I've found my photo, I'm going to hit next, then app, app fee, app, I'm sorry if I am butchering your, the name of this company or this app. They also have a handful of filters that you can add onto. Some are fine, some are, some are not as nice looking in my opinion, but to each their own. In my review of this, I would maybe get rid of some filters and keep the rest, but like the saturation one is fine, but I edited this photo in a different app and I like the way it looks just like that. So I'm going to hit next and then it shows your caption history and you can even save captions but I'm just going to write a caption real quick once you're done uh, putting in your caption you just hit next then you select your time zone uh, for me it is America Chicago and then I choose the date that I want it to be posted on so I don't want it to post today. I want it to post tomorrow at 1 p.m. Then I click done. Then if you want the photo to only last for a certain amount of time, you can do that um, just by selecting however long. Um, but I want it to be there forever. So I would <clears throat> then if you accidentally, if you click this and you want to have it be there forever, you can't do that. You just hit clear. And then say if you're someone who is doing a photo for an advertiser, then you have that option as well. But this is not a photo for advertiser. Then you just click done. Then it uploads your photo. And voila, you have your photo scheduled for the day and time you want. And you can see your list of photos that you have scheduled and as well as the ones that have been posted uh, via this app. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. You can click right over here to subscribe to the respective channels and you can click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.